I'm gonna do this, but it's already quarter to eight and the only one that was waiting out here for me about a minute ago before I got my phone was the bunny rabbit. Oh, there she is. That's my faithful customer these days. No birds, no chipmunks, no squirrels. I have a bunny rabbit. Time for breakfast. I've got one of the tarps pulled away and the bunny's like, oh, come on, come on, get the other one. Get those peanuts out. It's all mine. It's about 15 minutes later and Thing has taken over the mound. The squirrels are just running around getting natural nuts. Oh, well, maybe we have a peanut guy. Who's this guy? Now this guy is also getting a natural nut. You coming after me? There you go. I don't know when the last time a squirrel climbed my leg was. That was pretty momentous just now. You coming after me too? I thought you guys were just gonna plunder through the yard. There you go. It's nice. Nice to be recognized. There's Thing checking out. Why are the chipmunks alerting? Check that out. I've never seen him do that before. Come on, turn around, Thing. Let's see how this looks. Alright, so this is how these things go. So you find the source of the alert, there's the chipmunk, and you see which way she's facing. She's facing that away, and very much alerting. So I'm going to go over here. You wait there. I'll go check things out. Okay, first we check in with this guy. We go over here and we start looking and say, what's going on? I don't see anything. Other than that. But, so the squirrel's not scared, but the chipmunk was looking this way and alerting. And I just found another squirrel. Another squirrel that's looking at me like, hey, what about me? What about me? You ready? Get it? You need another one? There you go. It has started getting cold. I was just going to show this guy just had all kinds of stuff in his mouth to fortify his nest, but then he dumped it when he saw me. There you go. One of these guys over here, one of these black squirrels is Rovers. I was so shocked yesterday. I came up to her and there was a black squirrel right next to her and I thought they were going to break out in a fight and then they didn't because I thought it was a boy trying to, you know, do stuff. And and then I realized, oh my God, it's her kid. And I knew she had black and gray squirrels last time, but I didn't know they were still around here. So that might've been him. Somewhere in here is at least one black squirrel of her kid. This is the way the squirrels and possibly the birds have modified this. I had the net up higher or whatever you call it, the mesh, it's plastic. It's not a net, it's plastic. It is, it looks like a net. I guess it's still a net, it's plastic. Anyway, they pushed it down farther. They wanted it like this, which is actually, they're smart. I don't know if they did it on purpose. Now they've got protection from this side, so a hawk can't come in from the side. They, I think they like that they can just dump down, like the birds now have a way to get in and out, the good birds. A hawk is gonna have a harder time with his wingspan dealing with that. It's gonna take them time and it gives the other animals time to do something about it. They made it more protective than it even was. Thought I'd get some video of the hickory nuts. While there still are some, I don't know for how long. There's a couple, there's a couple right there. And there, there. There are some squirrels that are just having a great time, but for the, it is not covered in squirrels like I thought it would be. I don't know if this is just so sad for everyone or if it's just because they're all off doing something somewhere else. The 
Actually, that might be siblings. I think that's siblings. <laughs>